Today's math problem is gonna involve cupcakes. Ooh, that sounds so good right about now. So our units for this problem is gonna be cupcakes. Before we start, we need to have our feet on the floor, backs up straight, eyes on the speaker, and ears wide open. I'm gonna check, I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. Good. Now, let's get into this problem, shall we? Avery had some cupcakes for her birthday party. She gave 13 away to her friends. Now she has five left. How many cupcakes did Avery start with? Avery had some cupcakes for her birthday party. She gave 13 away to her friends. Now she has five left. How many cupcakes did Avery start with? One more time, magnifying glasses up, looking for those words and those important numbers. Avery had some cupcakes for her birthday party. She gave 13 away to her friends. Now she has five left. How many cupcakes did Avery start with? Okay, now we're gonna go into our first step. Who can tell me what is our first step? That's right, we are going to write a number sentence. What are we gonna do? You got it, we're gonna write our numbers. What do we need to do first when we're trying to set up our number sentence? Yep, you are correct. We need to reread the problem. So I'm gonna go through it with you guys and then we're gonna underline any important information. Sound good? Thumbs up. Good. Okay. Avery had some cupcakes. That word some, hmm, that word is not a number, right? Do we know what some is? Yeah, you're right. We don't know what some is. That's, we, we need to find that out. What is it called when we need to find something out in the problem? That is our... Yes, it's our unknown. So when we have our unknown, how can we show it in our number sentence? What can we do? Mm-hmm. You are so right. We need to make a box. And do we fill in this box? Why not? Why don't we fill in this box? Exactly. Because we don't know what sum is. That's what we're solving for. Okay, let's continue to read. She gave, she gave 13, gave 13 away to her friends. Let's think about this word, gave. When we give somebody something, are we gaining or are we losing? You are correct and I love that you showed me with your hands. We are losing. We're losing. We don't have any. She's giving it away to people so she doesn't have that amount anymore that she originally started with. Let's keep reading. Let's see. So what sign should we use? Will we be using addition or subtraction? Subtraction, yes. 13 away. So look at the number 13. The 13 is going to be what in the problem? Yes, it's gonna be our part. How do you know that it's gonna be our part? Exactly, I agree with you. Because she had something and then she gave away the cupcakes, right? But we still have to figure out what that something is, but we know for sure that she gave away 13 of them. So we're gonna write our 13 here and then we're gonna to continue to read. Now she has five left. She has five left. So what do we need to do? Hmm, what should we put here? Good, equals, equals what? Correct, it equals five. So something minus 13 equals five cupcakes. Very good, okay. So now that we've done that, we need to move on to our step two. 
What is our step two going to be? You tell me. That's right. It's gonna be our part, part, whole model, okay? And I'm going to reveal it to you now. Here it is, part, part, whole model. You know what question I'm gonna ask? You are right. I was gonna ask, what should we do first with our part, part, whole model? You're right, label. You guys know, you guys know exactly what I'm thinking. Wow. Whole part and part. So awesome. Thank you for telling me where to label these. So we have our whole, which is here, and we have our part and our part. Awesome. Now, what should we label this? Good, this is our whole. How do we know that's our whole? Yes, it's what we started with. What is this? What's the 13? That's our part. And then what is the five? You are correct, that is also our part. How did you know those were the parts? Exactly. Because we know that part plus part equals a whole, right? So this has to be a part and that has to be a part because we need to see what that's gonna be equal to. Awesome! All right, now we need to fill these in and this should be pretty simple because we label. So we know this part has to be 13. And what's our other part? Five, you got it. Okay, now get ready. We're doing step three. What is step three? What have we been doing? Tell me what strategy have we been using? Yes, we've been using the counting on strategy. And how does that work? Tell me about it. That's right, you start with the number and you count on until you find the total. Very nice. So what number are we going to start with here? What do you think? The larger or the smaller? You said the larger, why the larger? Exactly, we wanna be quick, quick, quick. And it's faster if we use the larger number than the smaller number. So what am I gonna do? What's next? What do I need to do here? Go oh, thank you, yes. And thank you for explaining that perfectly. So we're putting the 13 there, cause that's our part. And then we're gonna count up five to get our whole, okay? Great, so we are at 13. What do we need to do next? Good, draw five circles, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, we got five. So are we done? Is this it? You're right, we're not done yet. So what do we need to do? Mm-hmm. You are exactly right. We have to count on from 13 and then we'll figure out what our whole is, right? Because we know that part plus part equals the whole. You've got it. Okay, so after 13 comes what? Good, 14, keep going. 15, count with me, 16, 17, 18. Avery has 18 cupcakes. So what do we need to do now? Where do we write this 18? Good, we write it in our whole spaces. We write it here on our part, part, whole model, and then we write it here in our number sentence. Let's write a word sentence. So tell me, what's the sentence? Mm -hmm. Avery had 18 cupcakes to start with. Great job, guys. Perfect. Now, you know what time it is. It's time for your problem. All right, you guys ready for the reveal? David had some crayons. He gave his classmate 11 crayons. Now, he has 12 left. How many crayons did he have to start with? Okay, let's read it one more time. David had some crayons. He gave his classmate 11 crayons. Now he has 12 left. How many crayons did he have to start with? 
All right, scholars, as usual, please send me your work and I will check it and I'll give you some feedback and let you know how you're doing. Okay, until next time, bye.